In this video, you will learn non-verbal reasoning type 1, find the odd one out. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Before we start into these questions, let's first look at snaps. So snaps is S-N-A-P-S-S. -S -S. S stands for shape. One shape might be different to the others. N stands for number. The number of shapes or the number of sides in a shape could be different. A stands for angle. The angle of a shape might be different, reflection or its rotation. P, the position of a shape might be different. S is size. The size of a shape could be different. And finally, S is shading. The shading or a color of a shape could be different. Since we now know what snaps is, let's look at our first example. So let's look at this example. In this example, we have five options. A, B, C, D, and E, and four of the options are related to each other, but one of them is different. Our job is to find the different one, which will be the odd one out. So let's use SNAPS to find that answer. So SNAPS stands for shapes, number, angle, position, size, and shading. Let's first use shapes. All of the options above have the same shape, so we cannot use shapes. Let's move on to number. All of the options above have two shapes. This means we cannot use number either. So let's go on to angle. In terms of angle, option A, both of the shapes point in the same direction. In option B, they point in the opposite direction. In option C, they point in the opposite direction. And in option D, they once again point in the opposite direction. And finally, in option E, they point in the opposite direction. This means our odd one out for this example is going to be A because only in A, we have both the shapes that point in the same direction. However, for the rest, they all point in the opposite direction. So we can safely say our answer to this question is A. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. For this example, using snaps, we're going to first compare the shapes. So in all of the options above, we can say that A, B, C, D and E, they all contain a plus. So B, C, D, and E. And also, they all contain a diamond. A contains one, B, C, D contains, and E contains a diamond as well. So all of them contain a diamond. But all of the options, except for B, they all contain a circle. So A contains a circle, C contains one, D contains a circle, and E contains a circle. But in B, however, instead of circle, it has been replaced with a semicircle. So since a semicircle is not a circle, this means our answer is for this question is B, because B is the odd one out. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's look at this example and let's use snaps to get our answer. So first thing we have is shapes. So all of the options above, they have different shapes, which means shape does not work. So we can cross it off. Let's move on to numbers. All of the options above, they have two shapes, a smaller shape in the middle and a larger shape outside. So this means number doesn't work either. So let's look at angle. All of the shapes above, they have different angles, so angle doesn't work. In terms of position, the position of the shape is the same because if you look at the inner shape, it's always in the middle. So for A, B, C, D and E, the inner shape is always in the middle. So we cannot use this as an option to find the odd one out. So let's move on to size. So in terms of size, all of the shapes, they have different sizes because they're all different shapes. So a triangle might be a different size to a pentagon and it might be a different size to a circle. We cannot use the size as a way of getting the odd one out either. So let's move on to shading. So we're left with shading now. If you look at the patterns on A, B, C and Z, so the shading pattern is right in the middle. So if you look at that, all of the shading pattern is going diagonal. But if you look at option E, the shading pattern is going vertical, so up and down. This means E is the odd one out since the shading pattern is different. I hope you guys understood this question. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.